think it's going to be another good day, definitely. An easy day today, and I was one and one, so mm. yeah, it, it's nicer than in the winter time if you go to Wolverhampton and it's minus one and you stood there and you're doing your lightweights and you got nothing but a pair of tights on. This morning we're going to Malton. Um, we're going to sit on one for Mark Walford. He's a, he's a trainer right for regularly whenever I'm free or whenever he needs me. So we sit on one up here up in Malton. Probably take about half an hour. Two two year old up there first time for Mark. Um, he's a big two year old, so he's he's backwards. Uh, which I mean is he's he's sort of back into the year for two two year old. That was his first time away from the yard, and he behaved himself well, done everything well, and he'd only go one way from this. But no, it went well. Yeah. Yeah. No, with this part of the country, I came over here 16 years ago, and I mean, I, I fell in love with this place. It's unbelievable, North Yorkshire. Um, the people over here are just like home. Uh, they're very, very welcoming for with people, um, and it's a small little uh, community here. I said we've been up to Gallop there, and I've been using that Gallop for 16 years since I've been over here, so I know a lot of people here when you see them in the morning times. Uh, but yeah, it's an unbelievable place. Like this is John Quinn's on the right. I sort of came over here to John Quinn 16 years ago, and we have a lot of success. Um, you sort of still ride out there, but you you build up your contacts as well. So we got a lot of yards here on the left and right, and there's another set of gallops in here. And then Malcolm Jefferson trains here, who's a big jump trainer in Malta. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very good town, a very, very good people. Home. Home, exactly. He's only doing me X's and O's. Yeah. 415 or 432 in our house, at the race of race in the UK. That's all there is. <laughs> oh, we get in the bath, I got the with RT with app, so I watched the late late shows around the from Ireland. And I run away to Newcastle, uh, which is about two hours from our house from from Malton. Um, so yeah, we're, we're on the way up here and we got a got one ride in the first in the one fifty for Brian Nelson and very well first time out at Chester. Ran third, um, and then last time he ran over five furlongs at Haydock, felt a bit sharp for him. Um, so I, I just, when I spoke to Brian, I said I wouldn't mind riding him over six furlongs back up to six. So he's going back up here to six. It's a stiff six, hopefully, yeah, he'll, but hopefully he'll run a big race. The ballots are literally like our mothers out there in, in there. Like literally, Dave, where's my boots? Dave, where's your back? Dave! <laughs> You'll have a bag down south and a bag up north and they'll organise everything for you. So when you walk in, like like yesterday, my gear was all hanging up. I said today we're quite lucky this week we don't have any light. Um, but this is this is procedures. Normally your body gets used to it and drops five, six in here, no problem. Uh, fluid, um, but yeah, the first 10 minutes in here is a bit of pain. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It won't go down every time I step on it, will I? He's a frustrating horse. <laughs> um, I rode him three, three runs back and he ran very, very well at, at Chester, his first time out. Um, he ran, he's formed that day and his old form was good enough to run a big race in the walking him at Ascot. And that, and that was the plan I went after Ch at Chester. But when the gates opened up, he didn't want to jump out. So he missed a break by about six, seven lengths. 
um, and he never really put any effort into it. Um, for what reason, I don't know. Um, the, tra the trainer said that he's quite awkward to train at home as well. There's some days he won't go on the gallops, and some days, but days he will. So um, the, own, the, own, the owner was brilliant. He understands the horse, and the tra trainer understands the horse. And I said, look, at, you're going to have to do something different. You'll have to either try a pair of pacifiers on him, cheek pieces, or something, because he'll only he'll only get worse. You know, the next day he'll probably just stand in the stalls and not leave. Now we're on our way down to Doncaster. Um, the horse of Doncaster, touch wood, he should go very well. He won it. He's a lot of ability. Um, he won for me at Chester about three weeks ago. Um, he normally has to be dropped in the middle of them and come very late. He's a quite free-going type. Um, I felt my first day riding him at Chester uh, last day, and I felt it was it was proper sloppy soft ground. Uh, it was soft, good to soft, and he loved that. Um, he has form on good ground so he's gone down here to Doncaster it was soft last night at Doncaster as you can see today is a bit more drier so the ground's probably dried out a little bit to what we would call dead ground so I don't know if the ground is tacky I'm not too sure how much he love it but uh, he's got stacks of ability he's a biggish price um, I said last night my last one was in best chance so <laughs> I'd probably say nothing on this side but he should run a big race he should run a big race I hope I was freelance for the last four years and I was in between I was always outside the top say I was always in the top 20 jockeys jumping so I was always busy on a, a Saturday or a busy day but you had your regular men on a regular week but you didn't have that big yard that you could be attached to to get into the next step and your next step as a jump jockey was wanting to get in the top five jockeys with a uh, like a hundred winners a season and i needed that next step that yard if somebody came to me bef before carl as a jump as a jump trainer and offered me a position like uh, like carl i probably would have took that first um it's timing. yeah it was timing uh, and the plus side of the flat was there's more prize money um you can ride for a little bit longer, uh, less injuries, um, and flat horses can run more often. So a jump horse might run nine times in the season. A flat horse could run twice, three, three times in a month if you really want. Um, so, so there's more flat racing. Today they've jumped off when the night heat would even pace but nothing was getting into the races being dropped out too far because the ground was quite loose and tacky and um, I didn't want to walk out last on them so I've set halfway and I just got a little bump inside the four pole and probably hasn't seen out the straight six after getting the bump. Um, he's one of them horses he's got stacks of ability um, but things just have to fall right for him and when I mean by fall right for him you have to drop him in, switch him off and the race to run to suit you. So that's it, we're done now for a day and then we're, we're off tomorrow and then it all starts again Monday again. So. We'll be home in two hours, so we should be home by about 9.15 or 10 o'clock. I think as any jockey, any jump jockey, if you said a Gold Cup or a National, you'd have to go National. There's only so many lads that fit into that bracket, you know, um, and that's a, that, that, that's a big achievement. You don't win a National from being a jockey, you win a National from being, being a horseman, you know. Um, it, 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 it's quite, it, you know, I've been lucky enough to ride in it three years in a row, out there with three years and finished 8th, 6th and 8th. I was lucky enough last year to actually ride in the Derby last year. Um, and, and that, and it was interesting. Again, I think you've got to have the right horse. Uh, there's so much that can, can go wrong in the Derby uh, because of the track, the undulations. Um, but you have to have the right, the right horse, like, you know, uh, within the Derby. 
because of all the stuff I've learned as a writer, there's, it'd be very stupid to walk away from the game completely. I think the game is a great game. I think the people in the game are unbelievable. It's a bit of like a traveling circus, you know. You get there's races, you see the same doormen, you see the same people at the track, you see the same team man, and it is a bit like a tra traveling circus. And I think to have done that for so so many years and then just turn around and say, oh, I'm done with that. I, I, I don't think it's the right thing to do. I think it's that. Uh, I definitely think I like to put something back into the game when I walk away from it. If that's breaking young horses in or I don't do something a part of the game, definitely. Yeah, no, definitely the game's brilliant. It's, uh, it's a brilliant game. Yeah, definitely.